Hey everyone, welcome back. And today we will be doing another lead code problem. Six five seven robot return to origin. This is a very easy one and one of the most easiest problems in the easy ones. There is a robot starting at position zero zero the origin on a two D plane. Given a subsequent uh, this given a sequence of its move, judge if the robot ends up at zero zero. So zero zero is the point the robot started moving, and if it comes back to its original position after it completes its all moves, so if it does, we are going to return true. If it does not, we are going to return false. Basically, return true if the robot returns to the original uh, original uh, position after it finishes all its move, and false otherwise. You are given a string moves that represent move or move sequence of the robot. Where moves at i represent ith move, valid moves are right, left, up, and down. So this is just a 2D. You can say a plane with the y-axis and the left uh, and x-axis. X-axis. Note that the robot is facing is uh, uh, facing is the irrelevant. R will always make the robot move to the right ones. L will be the same, and so on. Also, assume the uh, magnitude of the robot movement. At each, you can say direction is the same. So, if we have U D, then it is representing up and down. So, if the robot is starting from a zeroth location, then it is going one unit to the up and coming down from that location to its original location, or uh, going up and down. We are going to return true because the original axis is zero zero. And now, if we have L L L, so the robot moves to the left and then again moves to the left. So it is not coming back to the original location. So we'll be returning false in that case. So that's it. So x and y both are equal to zero, starting from you can say zero zero was our base axis, middle you can say middle of the plane. And now so for every move in moves, if Move is equal to u. Then we know that is it is going up by one on the y-axis. And if move is equal to down, then we know that it is going down, decrementing down to the y-axis. And in the elif case, if move is equal to left. Then we know that it is moving negative to the left, x decremented by one because on the left axis we have negative one. And now, if the move is equal to up and up, down, left, and now right, then we are going to increment x axis by one. And after doing all of this, we can just return if x is equal to zero and Y is also equal to zero. Yeah, basically saying if the robot came at its original position, which was zero zero, or not. So let's see if this works or not. This works, and let's submit it. So that's it. If you have any kind of questions, you can ask them in the comments, and see you later.